So the final word goes to our conference co-host, Joe Costello, on behalf of the Irish government, what you've learnt, what commitments are being given here. Thank you very much, Anya. There's, there's not very much left after David has given us that litany of things that he is committed to and we should commit to. It's my advice to the boss, sir. It's your <laughs> advice. Uh, but in the first instance, could I thank yourself, Anya, and thank all of the people, Mary, uh, and all of the organisers, my own uh, department, Department of Foreign Affairs, the Tonish this year, Al, of course, who came specially here to address us. But I want to particularly thank all of the people came, that, who came from far and near to participate, all of these grassroots participative activists who made this conference a success. And I think the first message coming out of it is the process. And this is the message I think we have to get far and wide for the duration of the post-2015 to, to review over the next two years that the way to go about it is to go to the experts. And the experts are not us up here. The experts are you down there who have the experience of the ground and the work that you do, the experiences in your own community. And that must be the way that we come about the new uh, priorities and the new goals for the post-2015 Millennium Development Goals. So that's the first message that I would be taking out. And I will be selling that but I will also be selling the message as a politician, uh, the message in relation to the substance that we've been talking about. And the substance that we've been talking about is the holistic approach, the nexus, as Al said, between hunger, nutrition, and climate justice, climate change, and climate justice. That's an exceedingly important nexus. And that's the combination of the sustainable and the development. And that's exceedingly important. I will be bringing it in the first instance, the end of this week, to the World Bank, where I'm attending. But with that are the, the, the members of the group that Ireland is involved with, and that is Norway and Denmark, on the, uh, the one working group on the Sustainable Development Goals, and I will be informing them of the work that was done here this week. Likewise, we have a non marge meeting with Canada, uh, on food security, on agriculture, on nutrition. And I will be bringing the same message to Canada. After that, our Taoiseach will be going to, has been invited as a core partner to the summit in London on the 8th of June, uh, to the summit on nutrition and hunger. And I have no doubt the message will be going to the Taoiseach as well, and that will be brought to that summit in London to before the G8 meeting the following week. So those would be very important messages coming out. And then finally, I might say in that respect, is that there is at the present time council conclusions being negotiated by the Irish presidency in relation to maternity and child and nutrition uh, issues where we're putting together a council document and position for the European Union itself. And we're also putting in place an implementation plan, which is very much related to what we've been discussing. And my final point, if I may, Anya, is that all of what we're doing here today is part of a broader context. And it's all part of the Irish presidency, of course, all of the, what Mary has been doing and the World Food Programme, all of that fits into all of it as well. But in terms of the Irish presidency and from our political standpoint, we started in February bringing all of the ministers of the European Union together in this hall we brought the three commissioners who had never sat down together before, the humanitarian commissioner, we brought the development commissioner, and we brought the environment commissioner. And we s talked about it and decided that we should be putting together a single joint framework in relation to combining the post-2000, the, 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 the post-20, uh, sorry, the Rio plus 20 sustainable development approach and the development they post 2015 development approach. And they agreed that there would be a common framework and that we would work together in, in an integrated fashion. And that's why we had the Minister for Agriculture, Irish Minister for Agriculture here, and that's why we had the Irish Minister for the Environment all coming together in the same approach. So that we see this then fitting into that, where we'd be feeding into the, that into, into the post 2015 uh, review as a core 
issue that will be part of the substance in the broader framework. And then we are at the end of the Irish presidency. This is the very last point, Anya. At the end of the Irish presidency, we are hoping to have a set of council conclusions agreed by all 27 members of the European Union and of course with Croatia, which will be coming in the following day on the 1st of July, uh, and that we will be bringing that then to the United Nations Summit in September in New York. So that what we're talking about today is certainly not going to stop from a political point of view, but our, the Irish presidency and Ireland will move it forward to the next stage and try and ensure that it is incorporated into the post-2015 development goals for the next generation. Thank you.